Hello, I'm Steve Folland and here's another Weird Week from Newslight TV. And let's start with some doggy style. Okay with everybody? Yeah. A company in California has started selling wigs for dogs. Total Diva Pets produce the wigs which are made specifically to fit your pooch and range from an afro to a blonde bob. They're good looking dogs, aren't they? There's eight wig designs with comfortably lined ear holes and an adjustable elastic strap. And they come in five sizes to cater for everything from a chihuahua to a great dame. Yeah, and just so that your cat doesn't feel left out, they also sell this. That thing is going to hate you forever. Staff at a wildlife park have appealed to Newslight TV readers and viewers to help them come up with a name for an orphaned albino wallaby. The little fella was born earlier this year, but unfortunately his mother died at the beginning of July. And since then, keepers have, well, taken over mothering duties, including feeding and rather oddly carrying him around in a towel-lined rucksack to simulate his mother's pouch. How good would that be, though, when you go hiking? Suggestions, by the way, so far from you guys include Casper, as in the friendly ghost, he's more like me, Sprite and Popcorn. No, me neither. But, you know, if you have some, let us know and we'll pass them on. You know what else he needs? What are those little wigs? Do they make them for wallabies? I'm thinking the blonde one would. A Swedish artist has been warned he could face police charges after leaving bunches of carrots made to look like sticks of dynamite around the city. This is a chap called Connie Blom, who had taken bunches of carrots, wrapped them with black tape and attached wires in a travel clock to make them look like a terrorist device. Well, a terrorist device that Bugs Bunny might have created anyway. The 35-year-old says it's a comment on subversive activities outside the reach of the control system. Sadly, that's not really uh, how a lot of people saw it. Not on that level. They saw it more as, <gasps> There's a bull outside my house! <gasps> and phone the police. Yeah, he's now been told to take them away. You see, the trick is knowing how exactly to disarm those bombs. Knowing just where to make those cuts and then how to dip them in hummus. We like to follow world records on Weird Week and here's one for you right now. The biggest cupcake in the world. It measures 12 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and needed 15 pounds of fudge filling and 60 pounds of yellow icing. It's big enough for 1,500 servings. An adjudicator from Guinness World Records was on hand in Minneapolis to inspect and sample the cake before declaring it the world's largest cupcake. Well, we think that's what he said. It was kind of like, mm, this is the world's largest cupcake. Oh, uh. The answer's making me feel a bit sick. Oh. Have we got the world's largest serviette? I think it might be. Chances are your garage is full of old junk. But hey, there's no need to let your neighbours know that. Why not make them think there's something a little bit more interesting in it? Like a fighter jet or a boat. Yes, a company has started selling photo garage door covers which make it look as though there's something more entertaining going on inside. Like an F1 car, or a horse, or the world's largest cupcake. Although actually I'd quite like them to make me one if they could. I'd like one which makes it look like it's our garage, but tidier. Then when the missus says, have you tidied that garage? And go, yeah, look. According to a new survey, Brits spend more than two years of their lives feeling bored. It's an average of five hours and 59 minutes a week of being completely and utterly bored with life. That's 13 days a year or 786.5 days a year, I think it is, across your average adult lifetime of 60 and a half years. Now the most popular, or rather perhaps least popular, things that make us bored are having no money, waiting in queues, hearing people moan about being ill, being ill yourself, waiting for internet pages to load as well, also filling out forms, bad weather, on hold music, traffic, people talking about their children, shaving, waiting for your nails to dry and having sandwiches for lunch. It's 
it's actually a top 50 things that make us bored, but frankly I couldn't be bothered reading it all because, well, frankly I'd rather sit in traffic eating sandwiches in the rain whilst someone moans to me about how ill they are and how they caught it from their child. You get the picture. I wonder how much of my life has been wasted and being bored reading top 50 lists. Now, do you ever have trouble packing and unpacking the roof box on your car? It's a nuisance, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not anymore, because now you can hire yourself a baboon butler this holiday. Not really. Sadly, these baboons live in a UK safari park and have learnt to open luggage boxes so that they can have a rummage around inside. Their trick? Well, one of them jumps up and down on the case until the lock breaks so that the others can then flip it open. Quite a few visitors have now had to sit helplessly, having paid for the pleasure of watching a group of primates run off with their hats, shoes and even dirty underwear. If only we could also teach them how to use the washing machine, we'd be laughing. That's your lot for this week. I've been Steve Follins, you've been lovely, and there's more online at newslight.tv.